from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer College. This is HCTV News, a student-produced newscast covering Herkimer County and the community it serves. Hi there, Tom Haidt here, the anchor guy with the red bow tie, broadcasting to you live in our beautiful TV studio here on the campus of Herkimer College. Welcome to HCTV News. According to the Oneida County Sheriff's Department, three people are being charged after an investigation in Herkimer and Oneida counties. On March 28th, police executed a search warrant in a home in Utica. During the search, Narcotics investigators seized controlled substances, paraphernalia, and money. According to the Oneida County Sheriff, Rob Marcial, 34-year-old Christopher Dixon was arrested and charged with a felony third-degree criminal possession of a controlled substance. Dixon was arraigned and sent to Oneida County Jail without bail. On April 3rd, the Herkimer and Mohawk Police Departments and Illion Police Department special response teams executed a search warrant of a home in Herkimer. Sheriff Rob Massiol says investigators found several types of illegal substances, paraphernalia, and cash in the home. They also had discovered that four children had been living in the home. Michael Dixon, 33, and Nicole Levitt, 35, were charged with a felony third-degree criminal possession of a controlled substance and four counts of endangering the welfare of a child. They were both arraigned and sent to Herkimer County Jail on $5,000 cash bail or $10,000 bond. Well, here is something positive. The fight for human rights has an active voice here at Herkimer. The Jamnesty event took place yesterday, April 4th. Students were invited to come down to RMCC from 12 to 2 to write a letter to change a life. Amnesty International has been making an impact in people's lives for over 50 years. This event gave students the opportunity to take 10 minutes and club members will help participants write letters and sign petitions in support of human rights. The ninth annual Jamnesty event had live music, refreshments, food, prizes, and giveaways. The summer class schedule for Herkimer College is now available for review on the college's website. Registration for summer classes are also open now, and it will run through Sunday, May 13th. Summer class options include a variety of subjects, including business, humanities, mathematics, and more. The majority of summer classes at Herkimer College are offered online, but some of the classes will run on campus. College advisors say that a summer class can help a student get ahead in their studies make room for other classes in later semesters, or offer students a chance to catch up on their classes after dropping a class. Advisors also suggest that if you are planning on taking a summer class, register for that class first, and then do your normal registration for the fall 2018 semester. This allows the system to see that you've planned on taking a summer class. So, if you're planning on taking classes over the summer session, Get in touch with your academic advisor to discuss your options. You can also find out more by visiting herkimer.edu slash summer. Oh, here's something else pretty cool. Vendor applications are now available for the 42nd Herkimer County Arts and Crafts Fair at Herkimer College. This long-established craft fair is put on by the Herkimer County College Foundation and is one of the most respected craft and fine arts fairs in the area. Applicants can apply to showcase their work, including pottery, gourmet foods, woodworking, dolls, soaps, jewelry, and more. The fair will be held on November 10th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and November 11th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is $4. Vendor applications for the craft fair can be found at www.herkimer.edu ac or by calling 315-866-0300, extension 8459. 
Herkimer College will be holding their annual used book sale from Sunday, April 8th to Friday, April 13th. Books, DVDs, VHS tapes, and books on cassette tape and CDs are all being sold for 25 cents each or five for a dollar. This cash-only sale is open to the public and will be held, held during regular library hours. The library is open Sunday 4 p.m. to 8.45 p.m., Monday through Thursday 8 a.m. to 8.45 p.m., and Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. For more information, contact the library at 315-866-0300, extension 8394. Well, stay with us. There's more news straight ahead after this break. I'm Tom Haight, the anchor guy with the red bow tie. Miranda Laux will join us after the break with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. From Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV News, stay with us. Make the right connections with your communication arts degree from Herkimer College. Interested in radio? Meant to DJ? Then Herkimer College's radio TV program is the program for you. Learn all about the radio industry, record your own show, or even produce a live one. The possibilities are endless. For more information about communication arts programs at Herkimer College, visit www.herkimer.edu. No cell phone service, no television or internet connections, no electricity, and in some DEC Adirondack campgrounds, no roads either. Forked Lake is just one of the 52 campgrounds that you can explore in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State. This facility is a primitive camping experience. Each site is outfitted with just the basics. You've got to hike trails or paddle a canoe to get to each site, putting you right in the middle of the area's natural beauty. Too rustic for you? That's okay. The DEC offers a wide variety of experiences including island camping, tent and trailer sites with electricity and running water, boat launch facilities, hiking trails, beaches, and more. And it's all just a click away. To find out more and to start planning for your next Adirondack adventure, log on to www.dec.ny.gov. You'll find all the information you need to start enjoying the great Adirondack outdoors in upstate New York. fouls are pretty dumb but if you decide to drink and drive underage you could lose your license and your freedom underage drinking and driving the ultimate party foul now the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas here on HCTV news Welcome back to HCTV News live from Herkimer College. I'm Tom Haight, the anchor guy with the red bow tie. Time now for a check of the weather. For that, we turn to Miranda Laux. Miranda? Well, Tom, as you can see here, there's a lot of rain scattered across the United States. We have a lot of rain over Denver, Colorado. There's a lot of rain in Iowa, and it is moving its way to New York, which is not fun, but We'll still have rain for a few more days. Taking a look at our forecast, courtesy of Weather Underground, we can see tonight is mostly clear. It's going to be windy with a low of 23. Tomorrow, it's going to be a mix of snow and rain with a high of 43 and a low of 28. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy and a high of 34 and a low of 21. And then Sunday, it's going to be mostly cloudy, but you will see some sunshine with a high of 36 and a low of 22. Taking a look at our extended forecast, we can see that Monday is going to be cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 32. Tuesday, it's going to be snowy and rainy with a high of 44 and a low of 31. And then Wednesday, it's going to be cloudy 
with some sunshine and a high of 44 and a low of 33. Okay, thanks Miranda for that update on the weather. There's more news after this break. Stay with us. You're watching the award-winning HCTV News live from the Herkimer College campus. Jump into the world of radio production and electronic media at Herkimer County Community College's 91.5 FM WVHC. When the semester kicks in, students take over the airwaves, turning their dreams and ideas into real live radio. Topping Herkimer County Community College news today with graduation soon approaching. Are you the next big voice? Find your home on the airwaves at Herkimer County Community College and WVHC. For more information, go to www.herkimer.edu. Be a part of a live HCTV Herkimer College newscast this semester. Get hands-on experience working with TV studio equipment in a professional environment. It's just a small part of the many communication arts programs that are offered, including radio TV broadcasting, digital filmmaking, and music industry. For more information on communication arts programs at Herkimer College, visit herkimer.edu slash communication arts. Hi, I'm Peter. And there's nothing I love more than sharing vegetables with my friends. Come on in! Help yourself to anything. That's why we give our food the utmost respect it deserves. Did you know there are simple steps we can all take to help save food? You can cook it, store it, even share it. Just don't waste it. Because when it comes to food, better ate than never. To learn more, visit savethefood.com. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. And it's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Time now for the HCTV News Question of the Week. It's your turn to express your thoughts on campus-wide issues. And welcome back to HCTV News. I'm Tom Haight, the anchor guy with the red bow tie. Thanks for joining us. Time now for our HCTV News Question of the Week, where we comb the campus looking for your on-camera input. This week, we turn it over to HCV, HCTV News reporter Brandon Bevington. Brandon? Hello, my name is Brandon Bevington, reporting here on HCTV News for this week's Question of the Week. This week's question is... What nonprofit organization do you support and why? NWACP. Ah, which one is that? Um, National uh, National Accounting. It's like a black firm. It's oh. it's that yeah, it's a black firm. My uncle's a part of it. I also do the Red Cross too, cause they do. I'm from Jamaica, so they do the Red Cross in Jamaica. But I haven't really seen much here. But I would say the Red Cross or NWACP. I support PETA, PETA because it's a good organization to help equal rights for animals. Very nice. Which nonprofit organization do you support and why? It's like I like Operation Smile because it gives presents to um, families that can't actually afford it. So you go to the church, they give you a handful of presents, you can give them to your children so they're not disappointed on Christmas Day. Um, I support the Herkimer County Humane Society. They're a really good place to volunteer. I support the uh, American Red Cross because um, they always help with uh, disasters and stuff. Um, like, for example, we helped out with Puerto Rico and, you know, the hurricanes and stuff like that. So I always think it's a good idea to always um, make sure that everyone, even not in our community but outside our community, is always um, taken care of because, you know, we are one big family. That was this week's Question of the Week. Back to you in the studio, Tom. Thanks, Brandon. Be sure to tune in next Thursday for another edition of HCTV News Question of the Week. And don't be shy if you see our crew around campus Thursday afternoons looking for your opinion. Stay with us. Coming up after these messages, we have Vicki Brown, a very special guest that will join us. I'm very excited. That's straight ahead in our Newsmakers segment, right here on HCTV News. 
Stay with us. Here at Herkimer College, we understand you crave more. And if you're looking to be a part of something larger, stop in the Center for Student Leadership and Involvement. Got a gap in your schedule? Visit Alumni Hall. Bored? The game room is open for all of our students. If you're looking to join a club or two, feel free to stop by our office for more information. The Center for Student Leadership and Involvement is located in RMCC 220. Call 315-574-4403 and experience Herkimer today. Hi, are you feeling tired, irritable, stressed out? Well, you might consider nature. From the people that brought you getting outside comes prescription strength nature, a non-harmful medication shown to relieve the crippling symptoms of modern life. Nature's recommended for humans of all ages, and it's great for pets, too. Nature can reduce cynicism, meaninglessness, anal retentiveness, and murderous rage. In clinical studies, nature is proven to decrease work-induced catatonia. Caution. Nature may cause you to slow down. Quit your job. If you are overly cynical, jaded, or emotionally numb, you may need to increase your dose of nature. Do you have trouble being even mildly uncomfortable? Nature may not be right for you. Side effects may include spontaneous euphoria, taking yourself less seriously, and being in a good mood for no apparent reason. So ask your doctor if nature is right for you. We all know that college work can get overwhelming, and improving that letter grade can be a huge challenge in itself. Well, here at Herkimer College, not only do we want you to be a general, but we want each and every one of you to reach your full potential. So swing on over to the Academic Support Center, located on the first floor of the library. This place is loaded with an army of tutors and academic coaches to help you with any problem that you may be having. Head on down on one of your breaks, or call to make an appointment. We are here to help you succeed, and we have all the tools that you need. Hi there, Tom Haight here. I'm the newsmaker guy with the red bow tie. Today we have Vicki Brown, the director of the Center for Student Leadership and Involvement. Vicki, I want to thank you for taking time to be with us this afternoon. Um, I went on my Herkimer, my Herkimer website and I went to the email section and I see a lot of uh, notices from students but I found two names that stand out, Dr. Matthew Hawes and Vicki Brown. And I am absolutely amazed at the sheer body of work that you are involved with and you manage. Um, I'll start with the obvious question. When do you sleep? <laughs> I, I actually get a lot of sleep, believe it or not. No, I, uh, I really do. Yeah. Oh my God. That's how I get to do all that I do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are your basic uh, responsibilities? So I'm responsible for planning campus activities, clubs, organizations, and we're also responsible for alumni hall and the game room. We also plan new student orientation and fall fest and alumni weekend. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, do you have a staff working with you to coordinate all these uh, events? I do. I have a part-time assistant, and I actually have a full-time intern this semester. She's a student at SUNY Cortland. And she's a recreation major, so I was really fortunate wow. to get her this semester. Sounds like we need a lot more than that. I, probably. mackerel. <laughs> um, is there anything like a normal work day at your office, or is each day different and filled with new adventures and challenges? Every day is definitely a different day. Uh, depends on what's going on and what we have planned for the day. Some days are quiet, believe it or not, but that's when we have a chance to work on the next program. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, how do you see the general response of the student body to these activities. Do you feel that a good portion of the student body participates? And would you like to see more student involvement? I would definitely like to see more student involvement. Um, I feel like uh, the students who do come to our programs, they do enjoy them, they have a good time, but I would definitely love to see more because the more the merrier, okay, right? Okay, I understand. <laughs> um, I have a copy here of the Spring 2018 Campus Activities Calendar. And uh, it seems like there's something going on every day. Uh, for example, you got blood drives. You have you're seeking student ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Here's a program on the power of getting involved. You schedule all weekend activities and events. Mm -hmm. um, you deal with student government nominations. Yes. Um, applications to be a student ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, important commencement info, and my favorite. Herkimer College Night with the Hudica Comets. <laughs> and yes. you drive the bus. <laughs> well, I didn't have to this time, but I do know how to drive the vans. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes. 
<laughs> oh my god i can't believe it um so new events pop up during the semester so how do you get that out to the students once this is Sure. Well, we advertise in a lot of different ways. We have 12 bulletin boards around campus. Okay. We issue a weekly table tent. We also post the TP Express in the bathrooms. And we also have sandwich boards in the lobby. So we have a lot of different ways that we advertise. Oh um, and also we have social media, so Facebook and Instagram, as well as Snapchat. Oh, my God. Absolutely incredible. So, uh, Vicki, how does one get in touch with your office? For they can stop by RMCC 220 or give us a call at extension 8310. Okay. Uh, folks, we haven't even touched upon the fact that Vicki, with all the time she has on her hands, is also the head coach of the Herkimer College men's and women's swimming and diving team. Mm -hmm. And you do that when? The season is October till March. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. Vicki, I want to thank you for being with us today, friends. Yeah. Vicki Brown is a true jewel in the crown of this college. She's tireless, energetic, and is committed to the values of this college and the leaders that it puts out. So I want to talk to you some more about the program. Okay, so let's go down the list some more. All right. um, ones that have caught my particular eye. Um, Drugs 101, is more alcohol better? Mm -hmm. So that program is coordinated by our prevention counselor. And part of our programming is we want students to have fun, but we also have to have an educational component. So this is one of our educational programs um, that we ask students to attend to learn more. Okay. Sounds like a good one. Um, I see Amnesty International. Mm -hmm. Here's one, what the F? <laughs> Grades. Don't forget Grade, that part because that's really important. Grades, grades. <laughs> so that program was um, designed by our advisement center to help students understand what they should or could do if they fail a class. Wow. Okay. And I see you have pool tournaments, mm -hmm. game board uh, tournaments, mm -hmm. uh, ping pong tournaments. Uh, how many blood drives do you have during the year? We offer four blood drives, so usually oh, wow. two in the fall semester, two in the spring semester, oh, okay. and we actually have one coming up next Thursday. So if folks want to uh, donate, they can stop by and sign up. Okay. Here's one that sounds really good. Birds of Prey. So that program is in conjunction with Page Wildlife Center out of Syracuse, and she's been presenting on our campus for a number of semesters now, and she brings with her several owls, some hawks, a turkey vulture, and a few other birds of prey. And it's oh a really great God. program because she actually walks around the room with them. Uh, RMCC 288? Correct. Is that like the auditorium? Or That's the amphitheater, or? so our smaller okay. theater. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, another one that looks good uh, here is the uh, Robert H. Wood Great Artist Series. Is that the same from yes. the one that goes to Munson Williams? Uh, I'm not sure if different? it is or not. I think they might be different, but it is a trust that the Wood family um, set up for us. And so through the foundation office, they bring in um, different quartets um, for the campus and for the community. Oh, my God. Uh, here's another one. Anti-marijuana information table. Mm -hmm. Find out why you should not celebrate 420 <laughs> by smoking pot. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So another program by our prevention counselor. Um, and again, we just want to inform students, um, you know, on the consequences of, of smoking marijuana. Okay. Uh, drumming circle. Yeah. I see there's a drumming circle. That's yeah. a whole so, bunch of people get around with pots and pans. Well, and... <laughs> well, actually, no, they bring in their own drum <laughs> oh, sets, uh, but it's actually okay. a therapeutic uh, exercise. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so it's actually, if you've never seen a drumming circle, it is actually really cool to check out. Oh, no kidding. Uh, another one that I like is the visit with the therapy dogs. Yes, yeah. So um, her name is Precious, and so she'll be coming to campus for our students. And again, it's another stress reliever program because we're getting close to finals in the end of the semester. So we want students to feel relaxed. And so she'll be coming to campus on that day to, to be with students. Oh, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. And you have your fingers in every one of these mm -hmm. things. Just about, yes. How about this laser tag? <laughs> I'm really excited about at this the gym. one. Yes, it's 8 to midnight on May 4th. So may the 4th be with you, laser tag. Wow. Okay, Vicki, uh, stay with us. We have a final check of the weather and more news after this break here on HCV TV News. I want to thank you very much for You're joining welcome. us today. Um, I'm Tom Haight, and stay with us.
So we, so were, we were walking, walking to, to school. school. At, At the corner, corner we, waited we waited for the traffic, traffic light. light. I started thinking about lunch. Mom pat me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. But like at Luigi's. Sometimes her mind wanders. They have this video game there, and Kate's got the high score. We should have a sleepover. Maybe I should pack my pajamas. I remember saying, Laura? Laura? I think I heard Mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. When, when we, we finally, finally got, got there, there, she gave me a hug goodbye. I really hope she doesn't have another bad day at school today. At school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free online resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Here you'll get personalized recommendations, practical tips, daily access to experts and more. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Welcome back to the award-winning HCTV News. Tom Haight here. And I'm Miranda Lux for HCTV News Weather. Herkimer's final blood drive of the semester is being held on Thursday, April 12th. Students and faculty are invited to RMCC 217 to donate blood. The blood drive will start at, at 10.30 a.m. and will run until 3.30 p.m. Even though there isn't an immediate threat at the moment, blood supply always needs replenishing. Refreshments are given out upon donation. Come on down, have a donut, and help save a life. Taking one more final look at the weather for tonight, we can expect... Yes, we can. We can expect some weather. Well, I know, <laughs> I know it's going to be a little windy tonight, so keep your pellet stove on and try to stay warm. It's going to be a low of 20s, probably in the yep, low of 23. There nice. we go. <laughs> uh, and that's for tonight. And tomorrow we can expect a mix of snow and rain with a high of 43 and a low of 28. And that's it for weather. Well, thank you, Miranda. A dismal forecast, but spring is here, and all the songbirds are here, so it's coming. Thank you for joining us. That's it for HDTV News for tonight. Just a reminder, HDTV News is here every Thursday afternoon at 4.30 this spring semester with encore presentations Fridays at 5 o'clock. Students also produce a live newscast every Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Newscasts are archived on our YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. Just search Herkimer College Communication Arts. Okay, Miranda, it's been uh, great being here with you. And uh, for all of us here at HCTV News, I'm Tom Haight. And I'm Miranda Laux. Tune in again next Tuesday at 1 o'clock and Thursday at 4.30 for more of the award-winning HCTV News.